Hi, this is Chuck Urban from Tallahassee Dodge Chrysler Jeep, wanting to thank the Florida State Seminoles for a great year of football here in Tallahassee. Our people here at the dealership know how hard it is to maintain that level of excellence throughout the year. So from the home of the 2013 Motor Trend Truck of the Year, congratulations to the 2013 Team of the Year. Go Knowles! Jimbo Fisher's objective when he took over the Florida State football program wasn't just putting together a couple of 10-win seasons, a conference championship, a BCS Bowl win, and a top 10 national ranking, all of which he's accomplished in just three seasons. Fisher's goal was making Florida State the program again. Not a one-hit wonder, but a program that graduates student-athletes, puts out elite athletes, wins consistently, replaces departed experienced talent with more talent. As Fisher says, not just being a team, being a program. Entering his fourth season in 2013, Fisher's vision continues that track carrying momentum from his first, second, and third seasons to bring the Florida State program back to a place of prominence on the national stage. In 2013, the Florida State Seminoles have made the climb back up the mountain to reclaim their rightful spot at the summit of college football. The BCS system ends the way it began 15 years ago with FSU playing for the national championship. Leading the way for this year's Knowles is leadership second to none. Joyner, Smith, Jernigan, Wilder, Stork, Benjamin, and Winston. Their place in the title game is well earned, with the numbers telling the tale of garnet and gold dominance. National rank in interceptions, number one. In scoring defense, number one. In points score, number one. Final ranking in the Associated Press poll, number one. The coaches poll, number one. And in the BCS standings, number one. And with the nation's number one player, in 2013, this all adds up to one. One team, one heartbeat. Give it all you got. It started with Kelvin. We just took it, we relished it, and we, uh, we truly believe in it. One team, one heartbeat. It just represents this team because that, that's how we live. That, that's what we live by. You know, one team, one heartbeat. That's what we stand for each other. You know, when, when that heart makes that single beat and gets into the system, it, it electrifies the system and, and makes that system run. And that's what we live by. That's how we go about our business. Play fast, have some fun, you put in the time, now it's yours. The first step in the championship journey came on Labor Day night in western Pennsylvania. The season opener arrived with a mixture of anticipation and newness for the Seminoles. Six new coaches, a new defensive scheme, a new starting quarterback, and a brand new conference foe in the Pitt Panthers awaited coach Jimbo Fisher's 11th ranked squad in a nationally televised matchup at Heinz Field. The decision we made who we were going to be was made a long time ago, guys. Like we said, we made that decision a long time ago. You decided you wanted to be different. You decided you wanted to be elite. That was the standard. Not be average. Your actions speak so loud I can't hear what you're saying. It's time to play. From the first play to the last. You know what you've done. You know the work you put in. You know what you're capable of doing. And you know how to do it. And you can do it. Now we just get to see the people outside this room, how we've been doing. Right. That's what we get to do tonight. This is fun time. This is fun time. You got 60 minutes to do it. Love, trust, and believe in each other. Go get me a crumb. Be what? elite, and let's go higher one time, boys. Let's go higher right now. Let's go. 
Early returns weren't positive. The Panthers took the opening kickoff of the season and marched 80 yards for the early lead. It would turn out to be the only pit lead. The nation would be treated to two breakout performances. One by redshirt freshman Jameis Winston and the other by junior tight end Nick O'Leary. In a debut for the ages, Winston completed 25 of 27 passes for 365 yards and four TD passes. He also added a rushing touchdown for good measure. Three of those scoring tosses found the hands of O'Leary, who equaled his entire scoring total from the previous year and became the first Seminole tight end in two decades to score multiple touchdowns in a game. And that was the beginning of this whole thing. It was the beginning of this special season that, season that we're having right now. And uh, I mean, you, you'll never forget that. You'll never forget that game. And hopefully that'll be the game that, hey, this, this is the beginning of Florida State National Championship. Run. Enjoy every win you get. Don't understand and don't unappreciate Every win you time you walk out there and you, you win that scoreboard, there's something to that. That's what we're getting used to do. You know what we did? We ate That's some crumbs. We had a crumb out there and we ate. And we ate. And we ate. And we ate. Play don't care who makes it, does it? Play don't care who makes it. Had a lot of guys making plays tonight. Didn't know we'd be out there making plays. Hey, great game, but we eat too. Yeah. Great game, but we eat too. Yeah. Great game, but we eat too. Yeah. Five points out. Five points out. Five points out. Five points out. What do we? What's he? What are we? What are we going to do? Where we? Where we lose? Where we lose? Where we lose? Chess on three. Chess on three. On coat. Get in coat. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. After passing the first test on the road with flying colors, the Seminoles took a two-week break from ACC play as they raised the curtain on the home portion of 2013. Up first was the Nevada Wolf Pack. Think about the show, guys. About the show. It ain't about the show out there, it's about to go. Don't matter who's in the stands and where you're playing at. That's great to have them here, that's what's off. We ain't gotta do anything different. You ain't gotta try any harder. You ain't gotta do anything any more special. Just be yourself. Because the best football team in America is sitting in here. Right Understand that. You just play a standard to yourself. The visitors from the Mountain West Conference took a 7-3 lead early in the second quarter before the Garnet and Gold machine kicked into gear. Here's the snap out of the gun. Play action fake by Wesley. Throws toward the end zone. He's got Timmy Shaw. He makes the catch. Touchdown Florida State. The Knolls scored 59 straight points for a blowout 62-7 home opening win. Most of the damage was on the ground, with six different runners hitting the painted grass of the end zone. The highlight came in the second quarter, courtesy of Carlos Williams. Carlos Williams to the right to the 40. Carlos to the 45. Down the sideline. Nobody's going to catch number nine. Touchdown to Pesho. First carry. Touchdown. He goes into the record book somehow, someway. Carlos K-9 Williams. Game three saw Bethune-Cookman make the trek up from Daytona Beach. The FCS subdivision Wildcats gave a supreme effort, but were no match for the deep and talented Seminoles. Still rolling, looking upfield, directing traffic, throws over the... It is intercepted! Picked off of the 40! Nobody is going to catch Talbot Smith! Talbot to the 25, to the 20! 15, 10, 5! Touchdown, FSU! Talbot Smith with a pick six! Here comes pressure. Winston felt the pressure coming. He is going to... Oh, he breaks the sack! Looks downfield, throws the ball downfield. It's caught! Touchdown, FSU! A remarkable catch by Benjamin! And what a Houdini job by Jameis Winston! we got a heck of a football team. Heck of a football team! But we got so much more room for growth. So much more room. Don't rip, Derek. Keep your pass square. It was up to New England and back into ACC play the following week, 
as the Seminoles traveled north to face the Boston College Eagles. You know some guys, you show me a guy without expectations, I'll show you a guy that doesn't have achievement. He's achieved nothing, he doesn't expect anything from himself. I expect a lot from you guys, I expect a lot from myself, because you know why? You work and put the time into it, and you deserve it, because you do what you're supposed to do. It's time to expect that from yourself and from each other. Find the crumbs. That's what it's in. Don't get in the results. Find the crumbs every play. Turn it loose every play. Win the play. Win the quarter. Then win the, then the end. It'll take care of itself. I expect our best today. Be elite. You want to be elite? You want to be there? You said it. Let's go do it. Have fun doing it. Love, trust, and believe in each other. Get your buddy in this room now. Come on. It wasn't chowder the natives served up, but the season's first taste of adversity for the Seminoles. We learned our lesson that game. We started thinking, oh, okay, we're getting kind of good here, and uh, I don't think we prepared as well, and uh, we kind of went out there sleepwalking that game. Behind a power running attack led by eventual 2,000-yard rusher Andre Williams, as well as plenty of misdirection in the passing game, the Eagles had the Seminoles on the ropes early. In the second quarter, Jameis Winston took command, leading the Seminoles back into the lead. The 21-point blitz in the second frame was punctuated by a last-second addition to the ever-growing Jameis highlight reel. And here's the snap, just beat the clock. Final play of the first half, barring a fiddle. Winston under trouble, under trouble. He breaks out of a pocket, looks downfield, throws it downfield, far downfield. Oh, it's caught! It's caught! Yeah! Caught down! Florida State makes the catch with a defender on him on the final play of the half. What a throw by Winston! I think it was 92 protection. And we slid to the right. Uh, something happened on the left side. The guy got through. I turned around, try to get to it, and I, I was like, I see three guys around James. Like, oh no. I mean, things weren't going good that game, but uh, somehow he just, he's like a Houdini. He just got out of it and just chucked it. And uh, I mean, even before that, I knew the kid was special, but uh, he really, he's, he's special. Be down here. They give you your best shot. I want to see some wild eyes. We believe? Yes, sir. Do we believe? Yes, sir. Do you believe? Yes, sir. Are you elite? Yes, sir. Are you elite? Yes, sir. You're going to get some crumbs. Yes, sir. You're going to get some crumbs. Yes, sir. Give me a crumb every play. Give me a crumb every play, okay? Yes, get in here. Give me a crumb. Give me a crumb. One, two, three. Give me a crumb. The second half saw the Eagles fight to stay within striking distance, but the final hope was snuffed courtesy of P.J. Williams. Here's the snap. Dropping is ready. Gets the pass away. And it's intercepted. Picked off by the Noles with the football. It is P.J. Williams. Gets a block. Left side. Touchdown for sure. P.J. Williams. Defensive jail. You battle, and I'm going to tell you what, good teams survive days like this. You have a day, you ain't at your best. I'll tell you, you get measured by those days. I'm proud of the way you overcame. I'm proud of the way you got things done. I'm, I'm not that. I mean, we got, the thing that's scary here, we're doing so much and got so much room to grow, guys. But we got to get there. And we got to have some urgency about what you got. You understand? We got to have some urgency about what you got. You, I told you, when you become the hunted men, they ain't telling what you're going to get. You say you want to be that dog? That dog got to fight every time it walks around the corner. Every time that dog walks around the corner when you're us, you got to fight. Somebody going to test you. And they're going to test you with their best dog. You understand? You just got to keep biting. And accept it and know it. Just keep raising your game. Go higher. Go higher. Keep finding crumbs, go higher. That's simple. We're down two scores, come, going to um, halftime with, uh, you know, come, coming back. So it, it was just great, you know, just like I said, just showed the, the toughness of this team, the effort that this team is willing to give to win the ball game. The Maryland Terrapins brought with them a top 25 ranking to Doak Campbell Stadium in their final Atlantic Coast tilt with the Seminoles before leaving for the Big Ten they would leave Tallahassee without that ranking and without any desire to face the Knolls ever again. We 
need all 11, not one, not two. We need all 11, dog. Everybody just buy in. Just buy and try it one time, bro. Just try it one time. Buy in. Do your job. Full speed, one time. Let's do it one game. One game at a time and watch how they are. Can't nobody play with us, bro. I'm a firm believer in it. There is no doubt when this is over. This is Florida State. We're fixing to make a statement today on who we are, what we are, and where we're going. We're playing our ball today. You keep your poison what you do, but I mean you friends. It's personal, guys. It got personal. Nobody. It's our house, our state. We're Florida State. You heard it. Play like it. Playing a bit angry after the defensive struggles of the previous week, the Seminoles bowled their way into the record book, hanging the biggest margin of defeat ever on a ranked team. From the six, 33 seconds to go. Play action fake, sold, nice to my post right though. Jameis Winston continued his Heisman campaign, throwing for nearly 400 yards and five touchdowns in only three quarters worth of work. And for the second straight week, he played Houdini and thrilled a national audience. Wild of the setback, the snap out of the gun. Winston looks, he's gonna be, he got away from the sack, runs to his right, goes down the end zone, caught, touchdown of the show, Nick O'Leary, what a remarkable Houdini. Now, I said the other day, we're, we're through being average. We're going to play at an elite level in all three phases. We did that today. We did that today. And my hat's off to you. Climbing to number five in the polls, FSU readied for the biggest game in ACC history versus number three Clemson. Despite Death Valley being a house of horrors over the past decade, the Seminoles exuded confidence. We were confident, we were, but we weren't cocky. We were calm, relaxed, and we just went in there and got the job done. Who said it got to be a close game? Nobody. 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 Well, what we're going to do, we're going to go out here, we're going to play as a team. Gotcha. And we're going to play for each other. We're going to play for the love for each other, dog. Gotcha. Florida State back, dog. Oh, yeah. Back. We back, back, dog. Back. If you're going to do it, then, right. do it big, then. Right. If you're going to do it, then, right. do it big, then. Right. If you're going to do it, then. Championship without this, we can't win the national championship without it, fellas. We gonna fight till we can't fight no more. No more. Okay. And if we can't fight no more, we're gonna bow down. Bleed a while. Gonna get back up, fight some more. Till we can't fight no more. That's my brothers, man. We gonna fight till we can't fight no more. Believe that, man. Hey, just like Timmy said, we back. We back, we, hey, 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 we, we, we back. And guess what else, y'all? We in here. We in here, y'all. We in here. And guess what, y'all? We ain't leaving without a victory. We ain't leaving without a victory. So, y'all, hey, my brothers, put a smile on your face. Okay? Because Florida State, if we gonna do it then, we do it big. Let's go, baby. Let's fight, man. My brothers. We play big games. We play big moments. We come to big places. We accept that challenge. That's why you're Florida State. That's what that helmet represents. It's what you represent inside. I told you this before. I love this team as much as any team I've ever coached. Because of the characters on this team. Because of the heart on this team. Because of the personalities on this team. Because you love, trust, and you believe in each other. Because you're one. That's what it's going to take tonight. To be one. To be one. One heartbeat. One heartbeat. Remember, love is the reason you play. The love and passion in your life for the people you love and your teammates. That's why you play this game, man. That, when it's all said and done, that's what you remember. When it's all said and done, that's what you remember. The love for each other. 
The love, trust, and belief in each other, and the faith in each other. Two guys in the ring, guys, one guy wins. That's what we are. That's what you live for. Let's go. That's what you live for. And I'm gonna tell you something. The country ain't seen Florida State football. Right. It's about to be night. Prior to the game, buses took the Tigers for a trip around the stadium for the traditional run down the hill onto the Memorial Stadium field. During the game, it was the Seminoles who took the Tigers on a trip out behind the woodshed. The Clemson home crowd were revved to set a Guinness World Record for noise. That enthusiasm was cut short after one play from scrimmage. Ties Boyd to throw to the right. It is caught by Humphreys. He's got a Clemson first. Fumble! Fumble football. It's loose. Who's on it? FSU say it. It's our ball. The officials yet to say one way or the other. And the ball belongs yes. to FSU on the very yes. first play of the game. Turnover Clemson Tigers. Empty backfield for Winston. Here's the snap. Dropping to throw Winston. Throws to the right side. Throw the quarter. The end. It is caught. Yeah! Oh, touchdown official. It is a tremendous catch by Calvin Benjamin. Benjamin goes high in the air with the defender. Has the size advantage. After Roberto Aguayo finished off a 16-play drive with a 28-yard field goal to stretch the lead to 10, it was the Seminole defense that once again made their own noise. Boyd has the ball. He's hit the backfield. He fumbled the Pick ball. It up. It's loose. Scoop it and score. It's Mario Edwards. Edwards to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown. Yeah. Touchdown to Fisho. Taj Boyd fumbles and the biggest guy in the number 15 I've ever seen. Goes 40 yards for the touchdown. Florida State strikes again defensively. It's 16 to nothing. After cutting the lead to 10 points and pinning the Seminoles at their own five-yard line, the Tigers look to claw their way back into the game. But FSU had other plans. Sidecar left is Devontae Freeman. Here comes pressure. And the pass is, oh, he's thrown to the needle. It's caught in the flat to the 40, uh -oh. to the 50. It's Rashad Green to the 40, to the 30. Rashad Green to the 20. Rashad Green 10, 5. Touchdown on the top. Rashad Green. Ooh. Boy, he put on the afterburner. And he takes it to the house. From that point on, the Tigers were a mere supporting cast in a seminal Saturday night show. Taking a starring role once again was Jameis Winston. The Hueytown, Alabama native threw for 444 yards and three scoring strikes. If one play epitomized the night for both the Seminoles and the Tigers, it was a third quarter pass to the flat to tight end Nick O'Leary. Winston takes the snap and looks upfield. Looks upfield, throws it upfield. Caught! Great catch, O'Leary to the twin. Oh, and he runs over wow! to the 15, to the 10. He's down to the seven yard line. The Seminoles show the nation that they are a team to be reckoned with after beating Clemson by the largest margin ever in Death Valley. Florida State defense all day, baby. All day. All day. Hey, this family right here is long around here. Hold on, y'all want to see this? It's a new stand around here. Hey. KB hey. around here. Bobby Look, around here. We do. Yeah. Yeah. Florida State around here. We do. We do. Yeah. We yeah. yeah. Florida State, baby. We Florida State. Yeah. 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 Look, yeah. tell them we back yeah. now. It's what we do, baby. Yeah. The muscle. Hey, Florida State 51. Clemson 14. This was our trustee game choice. All the trustees were up there listening, watching. They had a fantastic time. I know what Clemson said about making noise. I just want you to know the trustees set a Guinness record for noise in that box. <laughs> All the other people next to us got sick and tired of us because it was so great. I really, I really appreciate it. They're so, they're so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Understand where you're at. Understand the moment you're in. Grasp the moment you're in. Seize them. 
Live them and enjoy them, but understand the power of preparation and the power of love, trust, and unity above each other. A team. Not worry about who makes play. Play don't care who makes it. Game don't care who wins it. You determine what happens. And you're doing it because you're unselfish, you work, and you love, trust, and believe in each other and you're a family. It's that simple, guys. It, there's no secret to this. The Clemson game saw the return of the Seminoles to the nation's elite. The North Carolina State game saw the return of the man who led the program and the entire school to that elite status. I mean, he made Florida State. He was Florida State. That's why we have this stadium. It's why we have the facilities. It's why, it's why we have academics. It's why we have the school. It's why we have everything. It's just who he is. He's class, and that's why there's one Bobby Bowden, and only one. The Florida State community paid tribute on this October weekend to the man synonymous with college football, Coach Bobby Bowden. With the legendary coach looking on, the Seminoles gave an effort that showed they were truly elite. All right, guys, what we talked about. You want to be elite, you go to a certain level. You never go below that level. Now, understand something. We talk about it all the time. We got to play with a chip on our shoulder. You got to play fast, furious. You got to play with an attitude. You got to play with passion. You got to play with energy. You got to play with all that, but you can't get it too high to where I can't think next to you. But you got to have it, man. You got to love to play. You got to have that chip on your shoulder. You got to be willing to prove yourself every time you walk out there. Every game, zero, zero. Every play, zero, zero. When every play, every situation, every moment of everything, never let them breathe. The constant pressure of consistency. Over and over and over and over. And you're pounding. You never relinquish. You never play. They make the play, a good. Come on, here we go. That's what we expect, because we're going to make some too. Now, you play fast, you play physical. You play violent, but you play clean. You got to play this game physical. Be clean, penalty free, error free. But you got to put your will upon it, right off the bat. Play action fake by Weston. Wants to throw the deep route toward the post. He's got Delvin Benjamin off, but he makes the catch. Touchdown, Florida State. One play, one pass, one catch. 13 minutes, 35 points. It had become obvious that a calculator was a necessary bit of equipment for fans to keep up with the Seminoles. The foot was let off the gas a little the rest of the way, with youngsters gaining valuable playing time. Third down, six, a double reverse to Kermit Whitfield, uh -huh. running left, he's got a lot of speed, to the 20, got both over in front, to the five, three, two, one, it is a, is it a touchdown, Mr. Ref? It's a touchdown, Florida State. The next week saw another return, that of the FSU Miami game as a top 10 contest with title implications. There's never a need for extra motivation when the Seminoles and Hurricanes line up. But this time around, the nation took notice as FSU faced its second undefeated top 10 ranked conference foe in three weeks. It happened to be Miami. It happened to be for, you know, the state championships, which we wanted to win, which was one of our goals. It happened to be they was in our conference, you know, the ACC, and we say we want to be dominant here. So, you know, it was a lot played into that game. Expect it to be tough. So when it is, that's the way we like it. Okay? It's going to be tough. They're the, they're, the, they're the big rock in the road. You don't walk around the rock or you remove the rock. You got to remove it. You got to earn it. They ain't going to give you nothing. Don't hope for nothing. We don't want nothing, but understand that from the get-go. And two, the man can keep his emotions to the peak where he can be ready to play, but he can still think and function and execute. Listen, emotion and wanting to win is going to be important, but execution is going to be critical. Understand that. Being able to function, think, and process the information and make plays fundamental. Blocking, tackling, angling, covering, throwing, reads. That's why we'll win this football game. Understand that, okay? I love the emotion. I want it. It's in my heart too, boy. It's hard to hold. But a champion doesn't think that way. Dan just thinks about the reason. What, what do we want? What do we want to be? The first half was a back and forth affair expected from the two longtime rivals. 
A late Miami TD drew the Canes within seven at the break. Passes the ball to the right side. Got a receiver down the sideline. It is caught. Touchdown, Miami Hurricanes. Perfect throw by Stephen Morris. Now remember something. They don't score, we win. They got the ball coming out second half. They don't score, we win, okay? Hey, we had a couple mistakes on our side. You guys made some great plays. This is what happened. I told you it would be tough. So don't expect it not to be tough. This whole game's going to be tough. This is a dog fight. It's Florida State, Miami. But here's what. Go back to your fundamentals. Go back to trust in your eyes, communicate, and play the game. The last 30 minutes would prove to be a garnet and gold domination. First down goal. Wilder leads from high formation. Cross pitch to Wilder. To the five, to the three, two, one yard line. Did he get a touchdown, Mr. Ruff? He hit the five. Yeah. It's touchdown, Florida State. Wilder refusing to go down from the five yard line. A stifling defense shut down the Canes. And wild and free, the running back tandem of James Wilder Jr. and Devontae Freeman led the way offensively as the Seminoles scored the game's final 20 points. That rivalry just, it just means a lot, especially because that's my hometown and I just wanted to just give all I got to show the world, like, I'm going to beat you. Like, I ain't finna let you come in my stadium and beat us. No, I'm going to beat you. Defense, I told you halftime, they don't score, we win, right? Yeah, they didn't on. score. Yeah. They didn't score. Yeah. Good side, Good side, Good side. Yeah. Offense, you came out there, you took control, got the first drive scored, second drive scored, got up three scores. That changes the game, man. When you get to three scores, it changes the dynamic of the game. Then you went forward, then you went to And every drive you scored. Had one punt in the game. We had one punt in the game. It was a great job physically up front, offensive line. I love it. Great job. It would be the third straight blowout of a top 25 team and kept their own destiny in the Seminoles' hands. The Seminoles were truly a team that loved each other. All season long, the Seminole offense rolled up historic numbers. In week nine at Wake Forest, it was the tribe's D that showed they love to play football. They've been getting a lot of light this whole season. You know, we like to be the silent killers of the game, you know, and that's what we go out there and do. We go out there and put up a, you know, one or two touchdowns, a, a couple interceptions, a couple sacks, and, you know, we, we go back and we're satisfied with that, but we just got to keep going and keep playing. But that game right there, it was just a defense coming out for us. It's the snap. He's got to get rid of it in a hurry. we got a four-man. Well, he's going to be hit. That's intercepted by Mario Edwards. Jeremy Pruitt's defense took center stage setting up Jameis Winston and company deep in Wake territory time and again. That is, when not finding the end zone themselves. We were like, man, we can't even make it on the field. But at the end of the day, we were like, man, that's a team effort. It ain't about you. Play don't, play, play don't care who make it. And I just felt like, man, if they making plays, we resting, that's a win-win for us. And uh, when they was out there making plays, it just felt good to see some of those guys come with the football in their hand and stuff like that. His side to the right and dropping back as Price. Price dumps the ball. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 50 to the 40 to the 30. It's Nate Andrews to the 20. Nobody's going to catch him. Touchdown, Florida State. The handoff goes to the right side as Josh Harris. And he is all oh, fumble football. It's loose. Picked up by Lenoel. Down the sideline. Touchdown, FSU. It's Jalen Ramsey. One stat tells the story of what Wake Forest faced on their home field. Deacon quarterbacks completed seven passes to receivers and six to seven old defenders. Special teams even had a hand in tallying up the score. Diminutive sprinter Kermit Whitfield added the final touches on a victory that secured the second consecutive Atlantic Division crown and third in four seasons. Having assured their birth in the ACC championship game, but eyeing an even bigger prize, the Seminoles returned to Tallahassee for the annual homecoming game. It was back to the future for Florida State fans, as the 1993 national championship team was honored on the 20th anniversary of the school's first national title. Telvin Smith shows why the Knowles have great leadership in 2013. Give it all you got, dog. All you got, let it come from right here. Let it come from right here. 
Ain't no thinking about it no more when you're out there. We done practice. We've been going through screen. We've been going to get our bodies right. That's over with. It's time to go perform. It's time to go perform. We the greatest and we know it. Let's go do it. Yeah. We the greatest and we know it. Let's go do it. You got to take everything you get. Nobody's going to give you anything. They're going to try and make a name off of you. They're going to be hard. They're going to be physical. So expect it to be tough. It's going to be tough. It's going to be a nasty, physical, tough football game. Expect it. They're in here to play just like you. So when it is, you know what to do. But handle your business. It ain't about them. Our opponent has no faith. It's about us. The way we play, the way we think, the way we execute. Effort and execution together. Every time. To me, these games here define us. Like I said last week, these games define us. Right here. What you want? Do you look past something? Or do you truly love them? You get 12 times a year, guys. You're guaranteed. Love them. Play them. Play together. Play for each other. Remember, love is the reason for the fight. The Seminole Juggernaut continues as the present day version of the Garnet and Gold steamroll another conference foe, 1993 style. At the 26, toss pitch to the right side, running to the right side. Big carry to the 30, to the 35, to the 40. It's Kevin Whitfield to the 50. Kevin Whitfield gets a block. He's at the 35, 40, 25, 20, 50, 10, 5. Touchdown, Florida State. Kevin Whitfield under the backfield goes 74. Speed. We're at number seven. FSU builds a 38 to 0 halftime lead. And Jameis Winston calls it a day and takes in the second half action on the sideline, along with his 1993 counterpart, Heisman Trophy winner Charlie Ward. The past and present Seminole legends were treated to more of the same. And off to the right side of the cutback by Wilder. Jaylay 30 to the 25 to the 20. 10, 5, 3, 2, 1. For the first time since 2000, Florida State finished the ACC portion of the schedule with an unblemished 8-0 record. The Seminoles destroy Syracuse 59-3. Welcome to the ACC, Seminole style. Senior Day gave FSU players and fans the opportunity to say hello to an unfamiliar opponent. And goodbye to a special group of Seminole seniors. I love y'all boys, y'all. This is the last time I'm gonna do it in this house right here, man. My boy jump! 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 What do we? What do we? What we gonna do? Win! What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Tremendous group of guys. Tremendous group of guys. You play football the way it's supposed to be played. You respect the game because you work at it. You study it, and then you play it with the most passionate heart of any team I've been around. Any fears that the Knowles would take the Idaho Vandals lightly in anticipation of next week's rivalry game against Florida were quickly erased by a rewriting of the record books thanks to the offense. Interception today. He will lead block and another block by Abram. Touchdown, Florida State. All right, Carr, right. Here's the snap, and here comes he. Winston throws a pass toward the end zone. It is caught. Touchdown, Abisha. Fittingly, the onslaught was led by the senior class. Wide receiver Kenny Shaw recorded his first 100-yard receiving day of the season. There's a, it is caught by Kenny Shaw. He's got a first down of the 22-yard line. Telvin Smith returned his second pick six of the season. And defensive tackle Jacoby McDaniel showed soft hands for a big guy. It may be picked off still. I think the Seminoles will come up with it at the 47-yard line. FSU football. On a day when the Seminoles set a record for points, it was the defense that pushed them to the 80-point mark. Leverberry to the 50. Leverberry to the 30. One man to beat. Can he do it? Can he do it? Can he do it? He does. Touchdown of FSU. E.J. The 80 points would be a new record for Florida State football. Now, only one team stands in the way of a perfect regular season. 
the one day every Seminole fan circles on their calendar finally arrived. The battle against the Florida Gators. While FSU lived up to their part of the rivalry by heading in 11-0 and ranked number two in the country, the Gators limped to the regular season finale with the worst record in a generation at four and seven. Right now, y'all, we got a three-game season. We got a three-game season right now. All they do is go three and zero. And we the champs. We, we, hey, and it starts this week. You come to Florida State, Washington, you gotta beat Florida. Number two, you gotta win the ACC. Number three, we gotta win the big one. It's a three-game season. We ain't living on what happened last week or the week before that or anything else. It's over with. It's done. Mm -hmm. It's a three-game season, y'all. I know we got three more winners. Mm -hmm. I know we got three more winners, dog. And it starts now with these boys. Do you know, do you know how much that kills me, man? How, how bad I want to go undefeated, man? I ain't went undefeated since middle school. Now, how many y'all been undefeated? Y'all whole life? How, how, you, how many of y'all been undefeated at Florida State, man? Huh? This is our time! This is our time to be undefeated, man! I ain't been undefeated in six years of my life! From the beginning of the year, we said, this is our year! What Tammy said, say, fight for each other! This is what we fight for! Even though we just watch them lame, lame videos on the little thing, tell us some, guys, what are we fighting for? He said, no, you know what I'm fighting for? You know what I'm fighting for, y'all? I'm gonna be the season and that shiny thing on this finger right here, and I know it's cricket, but a shiny thing on this finger right here said Florida State, not the champions. That's what I'm fighting for. And it begins today. It begins today. So don't let them go and stop us from going undefeated, baby. Because at Florida State, if we're gonna do it then, we do it big then. Let's go, get that in your mind right now. Remember what we talked about, ain't nothing changed. Nothing changes. Everything's about us. What we do, how we think, how we feel, how we play. From the first play to the last play. The reckoning. Put things back in order. To put things back in order, you've got to put them in order. They're not going to get in order for you. There are stone in the road, we remove the stones out of the road. We don't go around them, we don't hope they move. We remove them. You get what you take. You get what you take. Now, how you take it is consistency from the first play to the last. Kill them. <coughs> Intensity. Focus. Nastiness. How physical you play. But every play. Every single play you play. You put your will upon it. The Gators and Seminoles kept each other in check through most of the first half. Roberto Aguayo's first quarter field goal providing the only notch in the scoreboard. Another of Winston's lethal weapons deflated all hope in Gainesville. Dropping as Jameis gets the pass away, crossing back, caught by Benjamin to the 30. He breaks the tackle to the 25, to the 20, 15, 10. He's inside the 10, 5. Touchdown, number two. Calvin Benjamin makes a catch, breaks three tackles, and then he'll score the game's first touchdown. Both the offensive and defensive sides of the ball picked up where they left off in the second half. Dropping his morning wagon, but he'll catch. He's hit, knocked down, and the pass floats airborne. And he's hurt. Go, nobody pass. blew the whistle. The ball is down. It's recovered by Telvin Smith, and the Seminoles have the ball of the 40. Handoff running right. Devontae Freeman to the 5 3 2 1. Touchdown to Fishu. Nick O'Leary with a tremendous block opened a hole big enough for all three of us to run through. The snap to Winston looks to the left side, throws a pass to the left side, it is caught by Calvin Benjamin. Touchdown FSU, perfect throw by Winston over the shoulder to number one. Three touchdowns, Calvin Benjamin. Hey, we lost to him one time. We gave up one shot, but we had to come back and do it, man. One more time. We did it for the fans, man, for us, man. We number one. Once again, FSU clinched the state championship with Vita victories over Miami and Florida. The 37-7 final score was the largest margin of victory ever over the Gators in Gainesville. And with the win, the Seminoles finished the regular season with a perfect 12-0 record for the first time since the national championship season of 1999. Hey, uh, got a little present for you guys. Yeah! Woo!
job. <laughs> All right, listen, guys. Extremely proud of you. I told you it was going to be a hard fought ball game. Now, that team is a very talented football team. Tremendous what you were able to do, what you're able to accomplish, and come down here and keep your poise. It did go as well early. They had their plays. We were, and then, but you know what this team does? I'm telling you, more, better than it believes in each other. You just keep playing the next play. You make the adjustments, whatever adversity's there, whatever's in front of you. You just you put you pick the stones up and you remove them out of the way. Offense, defense, special teams. I mean, this team is so tight knit, it's ridiculous. And that's why we're winning, guys. We're a talented football team. But the reason we're winning because we are a team. You believe in each other and you play for each other in the offense, defense, the way you respond to each other. The way you respond to coaches when we get on you, when we challenge you. You don't say nothing, you just play. And I respect the hell out of you for it. I really do. I'm blessed to be able to coach you. I'm blessed to be able to coach you. Face the season, 12 and 0. I guess that's the third time in school history that's ever been done. I just love getting after those guys, and uh, I feel like we out physical, and we out tough, and we out played them, we out executed, out smarted, and uh, we were ready to go that game. We kept kept fighting, we kept hitting. We never, even though they was hitting us, we hit back. That's what separates teams. The team that can hit back is always going to be the team that's going to win. The postseason begins in Charlotte with a new number one in college football. Florida State is the number one ranked BCS team ready to take on the Blue Devils in the ACC championship game. But this was not your typical Blue Devil team. Coach David Cutcliffe's Blue Devils were riding an eight game winning streak and holding down a top 20 ranking. One game, all our lives, since we came to Florida State, we've been talking about one thing, and it's one game away. Because at the top, it's just us, and I don't trust nobody but FSU. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. FSU, man, if we going to do it then, we're going to win it, man. We, we knew we were going to win that game because it was a spectacle for us to win that game. And I know every person in that locker room was not going to let no team, whether it was Duke, whether it was New England Patriots, whether it was the Green Bay Packers, stand between us against that national championship because we want that so bad. I don't care what the scoreboard is. We ain't scoreboard watch. You bring hell with it. When this bus rolls into town, hell comes with it. When you walk off, hell comes with it. We play one way. Nasty physical and get after it. We play clean. But I'm going to tell you this, guys. you got to match your motion. But the man can keep his emotions high, but not too high. It ain't about you. They can still function, think, and execute. And you got to have effort and execution, man. Got to have effort and we got to have execution. Be able to think and function and do what we do. But match it, have fun with it. You earn the right to be here, man. You earn the right to be here. Remove the next rock in the road, we remove the rock. Focus on what you focus on. Have fun, man. Love, trust, and believe in each other. Love everyone. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The Blue Devils start strong as neither team scores in the first quarter. The 24, the snap, inside handoff, Devontae Freeman, finds daylight, Freeman to the 15, Freeman to the 10, Freeman to the 5, Freeman to the 3, and he fumbled the ball, it's recovered by the Duke Blue Devils. Devontae Freeman's first fumble of the season. The Knolls start to take control in the second quarter. His first down inside the 15 in the red zone. Now Winston dropping and looking. Going the pass toward the corner. Made route toward Benjamin. Makes the catch. He's got it. Touchdown Florida State. Two defenders cannot deny number one. Carlos Williams and Devontae Freeman in the backfield. Carlos Williams gets the call to the 10 5. 3 2 1. Touchdown FSU. That's a man carrying the football wearing number nine on his jersey. Carlos Williams touches the ball for the first time of the game and he takes it to the house and runs over guys in blue. We got to go out, remove the rocks from the road. Don't hope to win this game. <coughs> Wait for the clock to wrap. Go dominate the 30 minutes. All right, they had a good half. They gave us everything. They did a good job and they're not going to quit, man. They're going to battle, scrap, and club. We got to go beat them. We got to go beat them. Take the rock from the road. Relax right now. Execute one play at a time. Do what we do. Play our game. Play football. You understand what I'm saying? Have fun with what you do. The third quarter would indeed be fun for the top-ranked Knowles. 
the number one ranked team in the country. Play action fake by Winston. Rolling Winston. He's going to keep the Winston gets a block to the five. Three, two, one. Touchdown, Florida State. That's a Heisman Trophy touchdown run. Winston goes airborne from the two and dives in. As the clock ticks down to triple zeros, everything was coming up roses for the Seminoles. A second straight ACC championship. A 13-0 record. A number one finish in the polls. And most importantly, a date on January 6th in Pasadena with the Auburn Tigers for the national championship. We're really, we, the Atlantic Coast Conference, are really proud of you and what you've just accomplished with an undefeated regular season. And you have made yourself one of the great teams in the history of the Atlantic Coast Conference. And there's one thing left, and you know what it is. Normally, with an ACC championship, the home of the Orange Bowl, home of the ACC champion, the Orange Bowl guys would be here to offer you an invitation. They're not here because tomorrow something tells me you're going to get an invitation to Pasadena and the national champion. Great teams finish. You've got one game left to finish. Thank you for how you represent the ACC and Florida State University. Go get it. Win it. Go This place got so much potential, but we ain't there yet. And now we on our way, but we still ain't there yet. I'm very proud to be a part of what we've accomplished here at Florida State, but you know, we're not done yet. 2013 will go down as one of the most memorable years in Florida State football history. It was a season that saw the emergence of college football's brightest star. A season in which a high-powered offense shattered the ACC conference scoring total. And a smothering defense yielded the least amount of points in the nation. It was a season in which many Seminoles were individually honored. Among them, Cameron Irving, winner of the ACC Jacobs Blocking Trophy. Nick O'Leary, John Mackey Award finalist. Roberto Aguayo, winner of the Lou Groza Award. LaMarcus Joyner, Jim Thorpe Award finalist. Brian Stork, winner of the Remington Trophy. Jeremy Pruitt, Frank Broyles Award finalist. Jimbo Fisher, AFCA Regional Coach of the Year, and a treasure trove of honors for Jameis Winston, ACC Rookie of the Year, ACC Offensive Rookie of the Year, ACC Offensive Player of the Year, ACC Player of the Year, Walter Camp Player of the Year, Davey O'Brien Award, Maxwell Award finalist, and on December 14th, became the third player in FSU history to win the Heisman Trophy. But that is not what these Seminoles play for. These individual achievements pale in comparison to the ultimate prize. One prize to be awarded on the historic turf of the Rose Bowl. One crystal trophy to be raised collectively by one team with one heartbeat.